From sisters at birth to simply sharing a sisterly bond, the women of the FSU beach volleyball team have always prided themselves on being a family. With the arrival of new head coach Brooke Niles, that family just got bigger, stronger, and a whole lot cuter. We're definitely a family here and everybody's really close. We do a lot of community service together and we hang out with each other on the weekends even when we don't have practice. So I would definitely say we're all like sisters. Now, meet Brooke Niles, professional athlete, wife, mom, and coach whose life has revolved around volleyball for as long as she can remember. I coached during um, my college career. Um, I always felt like I was meant to coach and kind of like mentor people. I live, breathe, and sleep volleyball. Like my parents played, my dad played professional beach volleyball. So I've always been around it and I've always kind of tried to learn from it. Since beach volleyball was not a collegiate sport at the time, Brooke played and coached indoor volleyball at Santa Barbara, where she earned All-American honors. Indoor was kind of like a means to an end. It was paid for my school. We would play um, beach volleyball in the summer there. And then my assistant coach at the time also played on the ABP, so I got to kind of learn from them and train a little bit with them. Between spending summers in the sand and training with some of beach volleyball's best, Brooke took to the AVP tour in 2003, where she won numerous titles. However, she'll tell you the most meaningful part of her professional career were the experiences she had along the way. My ultimate goal was to go to the Olympics, which I missed, but I've been able to make a good living and travel and you know, meet my husband and have my baby, so it was the best thing for me. Brooke's husband, Nick Lucina, is also a professional beach volleyball player. The two welcomed their son, Gunner, to the family in April of 2013. Along with his arrival came a new set of family priorities. So I had my son like two years ago and I had planned to play internationally again and try to go for another Olympics and then that kind of changed because I didn't want to travel and like leave him. At the beginning of this year I said to myself, you know what, I'm going to just try to make a comeback, be full in. And then this job opened up at FSU. It was the perfect opportunity for the beach volleyball loving clan who already had ties to FSU. Nick went here. He's always felt like we'd be in Tallahassee. It all kind of happened and um, so it was a big adjustment. You know, I'm ready for it. A proud Florida State alum, Nick makes sure to represent the Knowles when he steps onto the court. What he didn't expect was how his seminal pride would positively impact Brooke in her new coaching position. Now that I'm in the environment, I see where his passion comes from and I'm now sharing his same passions and he bleeds garnet and gold. So the fact that I kind of like him to wear the FSU hat because it shows that he went here and it's also a good recruiting tool for me, I think. Brooke's impressive career, which has included numerous pro titles, a top five ranking in the National Volleyball League, and playing for the USA Beach National Team, has gained her great respect from her seminal athlete. It's awesome knowing like that she just won the NVL. She has like a really good history of playing like an Olympic uh, alternate a couple of years ago. So it's just really cool to learn from like one of the best. What's even more impressive is how she balances her new coaching role with being a wife, mom, and continuing to play professionally while her husband continues to travel to earn his spot in the upcoming Olympics. I think he's doing something special that not everyone gets a chance to do, so we're willing to make some sacrifices for that. And I think here at FSU, like I'm able to do something special that not everybody gets a chance to do and, and do it with this special group of players. So the fact that Gunnar gets to see his parents like kind of going after their passion, I think is a little priceless. Brooke's passion for family doesn't go unnoticed and only promotes a stronger bond amongst an already close team. Yeah, it's really cool that Brooke's family revolves around volleyball because she can bring that to her work and incorporate it with us and technically we're her job but it's really just like a different part of her family. That same passion comes out on the volleyball court where Brooke uses a hands-on coaching style to push her girls to be their best. Like it motivates you because you want to beat your coach always and stuff. It's been a lot of fun doing conditioning. We've been working hard, working our butts off. So it's been tough, but it's been a lot of fun too. You come to FSU to win and to be a part of a championship team and then also to be a professional after that. So I've kind of been where they want to go and I feel like it's a good training tool for me to be out there with them. I think that if you have somebody on the sidelines yelling at you, I would be like, okay, well you get out here and do it. If you're yelling at me to go faster. And so I kind of want to set an example for them. For the upcoming spring season, the team all has their sights set on a national championship. And with Brooke Niles leading the way, a team united as a family, and an energetic two-year-old bringing plenty of smiles to the sand, it's safe to say that this year's beach volleyball team is set for a successful season. I'm Katherine Phillips for Seminole Sports Magazine.